Hey Geeks, Tim Tibbetts with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to take a look at how to clear or reset the Microsoft Store cache. We're going to do that for default apps and third-party apps. It should not cause any problems with any of your installed apps. However, if the Microsoft Store is not working, you can't download, you can't install, maybe you can't update something, or maybe you're getting that error message that says try that again where you have like a blank screen, you can't load the store at all. This might fix it. So what we're going to do is press the Windows key plus R. And we're going to type in wsreset.exe. It can be all lowercase. You don't have to do caps like I did in the article in the background, which, as always, will be linked to in the video description. So once we type in wsreset.exe, we're going to press Enter or click on OK. It's up to you. I'll click on OK. And you're going to wait about 30 seconds, roughly, while a blank command prompt shows up. You're not going to see anything in this window. What's going to happen next is the Windows Store should open back up and you've now cleared the store cache for third-party apps let's see what happens here I should about do it don't make me look bad dude hmm. so again 30 seconds to a minute depending on your computer how many apps you have installed etc etc there it comes there it is. So there's your try that again error. So this may not have saved you any trouble. But here's what we're going to do. Watch this. Press your Windows key plus R again. You already have WS reset in there. Go ahead and click it again. Why this worked for me? I don't know. I see a few tutorials out there. I'll have to dig into it a little further on that error from the Microsoft Store. But this worked for me. Let's see if it works out this time around. There it is. So simply do the WS reset a second time and there's your store. Now, let's also clear store cache for third-party apps. However, I would stop here if you're having a problem with the store. For example, we have a video tutorial uh, fixing your NVIDIA drivers without the control panel being missing. And one of the things people had to do was go to the store to download the NVIDIA control panel to make it work right. A lot of you guys were getting errors and gals. And hopefully, if you clear the store cache, Maybe that'll fix your problem. You can finally download that NVIDIA control panel. So let's move forward. If you want to do it for third-party apps, again, it's a little bit more complicated, but not too much. Let me show you. You have current user or all users. Let's assume you want to just clear the store cache for the current user, whoever's logged in right now. Let's press the Windows key plus X and click on PowerShell. By default, I use admin, just better safe than sorry. Sometimes you don't need it, but why bother? So let's copy and paste that line right here. Whoops. Right there. Right click, copy. Bring your PowerShell open. Press Control V to paste and press Enter. We're looking for an SID. And this is it right here. So if you did all users, you're going to have a list of users and you're going to need to find the user who you want to modify. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into the registry, find this, and we're going to delete it. You ready? So let's do the Windows key plus R and start up RegEdit and leave the PowerShell window open in the background. Unless you're really, really smart at remembering really, really long numbers. And let's copy and paste this line right here. Come up here, clear out the word computer, control V, press enter. Now again, you may only have one user, which for the most part will make it easy, as you can see right here. But just to confirm, or if you have multiple users, pop your PowerShell window back up and take a look. As you can see, it looks like the same number. So go ahead and close PowerShell once you know you have the number. And as you can see, there's tons of folders under here with all the Microsoft Store apps, etc. Don't pay any attention to that, though. What you're going to do is right-click and delete that key. And that's it. Close it. Now, you will need to reboot after you're done with that, but that should get the store going if nothing else got it working. So there you go. Hopefully, that clears out any problems you have with the Microsoft Store. Like I said, essentially, once you delete that registry key and you reboot, it's going to recreate the registry key, but you're not going to do any damage to anything. So if you're not used to PowerShell... If you're not used to the registry editor, it's a pretty safe one here. You can't do too much damage in it. And hopefully we have resolved 
your Microsoft Store problems. There's also always related links in here, how to restore the Windows Store. This is a pretty good one here. And the reason for that is it has the code here to reinstall the Windows Store if you don't have it. So you just highlight this, you run PowerShell as we said before, and you'll copy and paste it in. So there's some interesting stuff down here at the bottom as well. Store cache might be damaged, missing purge caches error, disabling it if you want to disable it. And uh, yeah, there you go. So thanks for watching. As always, at the bottom right corner is a little Major Geeks logo popping up right about now. You click on that, you subscribe right away. And we thank you for watching, as always. See ya.